Hello, welcome to Take 10 on Tuesdays with the Tennessee Tribune. Our guest today is Susan Tucker Jones, who is president of the Napier Luby Bar Association. Welcome. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having me. Oh, definitely. And we wanted to talk today about the association and what it is that you do and what is that organization and how long has it been around? The Napier Luby Bar Association is an affiliate chapter of the National Bar Association. Um, it was originally founded as the James C. Napier Lawyers Association in 1933. Oh, wow. So it has been around for quite some time. It was uh, reconstituted in 1978 under the name the Napier Luby Bar Association, both for James C. Napier, who was a, an uh, African-American attorney uh, in the early 1900s, as well as Z. Alexander Luby, who we all know uh, at, from being involved in the sit-ins and various other civil rights uh, activities uh, as a lawyer and as a uh, person who represented the African-American community during that time as well um, in the, in the um, 60s and 70s. Wow, so named after two very distinguished uh, attorneys from very, the Nashville area. Very okay. distinguished attorneys and, and attorneys who were um, pioneers. Oh. Uh, trailblazers. Mm -hmm. In uh, what sense? In, Tell me a little bit more. In, in the sense of in the early 1900s there were approximately 10 African-American lawyers in the city of Nashville. Wow. Um, and, and within 20 years that that number doubled to approximately 19 and so they were in the field, practicing in the field at a time when African Americans typically were not in the field. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, that was part of the reason that the Napier Luby Bar Association and at that time the uh, James C. Napier Bar Association uh, came into being uh, to focus on um, the needs of the African American lawyer, the African American community, uh, to have an organization that represented the African American uh, legal experience and 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 to uh, facilitate relationships um, from from that. Oh wow! Okay. And so, what is the organization doing today? I know you're involved in a number of things. We um, are, especially with young people as well. We are. We we have quite a few programs um, that we uh, where we try to partner with other uh, community organizations or try to even on our own go out and and make a difference and make an impact. Um, in the community. Um, we've been fortunate this year to do quite a bit for both lawyers as well as um, young people and, and do some community events. One of the things that we did earlier in the year was sponsor, a uh, co-sponsor rather, the uh, mayoral forum, one of the first ones um, that was held during 2015. Um, another thing that we did was we sponsored the uh, Napier Luby Boys and Girls Law Camp. Oh, really? Which is an opportunity for young people who are interested in the practice of law mm -hmm. uh, or think they might be interested in the practice of law to get a little bit of a taste of what that is all about. Okay. To have an opportunity to interact with lawyers and with judges mm -hmm. uh, who can inspire and encourage them. Um, another program that we had uh, was we, we were uh, instrumental in the uh, Lipscomb Law Camp. They also hold a law camp, which is a little bit later in the year during the summer. Um, and we uh, provide members to that law camp program to talk about the various aspects of the practice of law and to allow persons who uh, look like us to see us oh, practicing see. law. Okay. Uh, and, and I think that's important. I think it's important for people to be able to aspire to something that they can see. And then they see other African American lawyers in the community that are making a difference, that are competent, that are caring, that are right. professional. Um, then I think that that will encourage them if they have an interest in, in that area. Uh, so those are some of the things that, that we've done. We've also so done... So now, mm -hmm. this, before you go on, mm -hmm. if um, I have a, a child who may be interested in law or I'd like to expose them to mm -hmm. law, how do uh, you find out more about the law camp okay. and when it's held? Okay. Our uh, organization is on uh, www.napierluby.com. That's our website. Okay. Uh, the person that is um, in charge of the law camp program is Quante Toombs, and she is, has been, she is actually the president elect. So her term will be okay. beginning um, uh, in January, and I will be rolling out, and she will be rolling in. And, and that's one of the programs that, uh, that she facilitates and, and, and heads up along with various other members of our right. organization. Mm -hmm. um, and, and certainly, uh, we would welcome any any interest that anyone might have concerning that. Um, 
And we can also be reached at napierluby at gmail.com if you want to email us specifically about any of the programs that we try to um, uh, have in the community and have for, for young people Great. particularly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, I wanted to back up just a little bit because you mentioned uh, when James Napier was a lawyer, there were only 10 African Americans. How many members do you have? now today in 2015 we are we are happy to say we have 120 wow. uh, roughly 120 members mm -hmm. um, some of those are uh, life members which means that they have actually made a commitment over a lifetime period and, and paid obviously an uh, increased due amount but also uh, just have seen the importance of the organization and maintaining the organization over a long extended period of time um, so we have life members and then we have um, our regular members. We also have started uh, encouraging a, a part of our membership that we hadn't encouraged as much before mm -hmm. and that's our supporting members. Um, to be a full member of the Napier Luby Bar Association one would of course have to be licensed to practice law in the state of Tennessee. Right. Um, and uh, but we do have membership categories for uh, students, a oh, student membership category. Okay. We do have a uh, first year, um, if you've been licensed less than one year, we have a separate membership category for that. Oh, okay. We have a separate membership category also for supporting members. And those persons are people in the community who may not be lawyers. Oh, I see, but who are supportive but of the But who are supportive of the organization. Mm -hmm. um, and um, and we would we reach out to people in regard to that. So uh, many times those are our paralegals mm -hmm. or people who work in the legal profession but may not be um, lawyers. There are uh, others that are just interested in what Napier Luby is doing and uh, want to share and, and show their support of the organization. Um, one of the things that we have coming up now, as I mentioned, new new lawyers, I think about this, on November the 12th, we're actually sponsoring a new admittees uh, reception, and that's where we will honor our recent admittees to the bar. Oh, wonderful. So we have okay. reached out to the law schools in the area mm -hmm. uh, to see if and we how have... how many law schools are there? Uh, there's Vanderbilt. Uh, Vanderbilt, Belmont, uh, Nashville School of Law mm -hmm. uh, in the Nashville area. Then, right. of course, you have University of Memphis and uh, UT Knoxville. Okay. Um, and I hope I'm not leaving anybody out. Uh, <laughs> um, so, and, and we reach out to the law schools that are in the area, but, but that's a good point because we actually reach out to law schools in Memphis and in uh, Knoxville as well. Okay. Um, because a lot of times people will uh, may go to law school somewhere, but they may actually be living somewhere else or mm -hmm. have uh, accepted a position or a job somewhere else. So we want to make sure that anyone that is interested in becoming a member of the Napier Luby Bar Association who has recently passed the bar uh, is given an opportunity to be welcomed into the organization. Great. For the first year of practice, um, we welcome them in at no charge. Oh. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just for your first year of practice. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, uh, and then after that, uh, we, we would ask, obviously, that you support the organization um, um, uh, financially. But during that first year, we, we recognize the fact that it's a transition year. Right. It's an opportunity for uh, young lawyers to get to know some of the more experienced lawyers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an opportunity for them to network. It's an opportunity for them to get uh, some mentoring okay. and some encouraging mm -hmm. uh, encouragement. Law school doesn't teaches you a lot of things, right? But there are aspects about being a lawyer that law school does not teach you, mm -hmm. and we want to be able to bridge the gap between what you learned in law school right. and what it means to be a lawyer. Okay. And so part of um, what we plan to roll out during this um, new admittees reception is the Napier Luby mentoring cycle. And okay, mentoring cycle. Mentoring cycle, and and we went with the term mentoring cycle rather than mentoring program, because we want it to truly be a cycle. Mm -hmm. When every year we have, uh, or almost every year we have, welcomed new admittees into the bar, mm -hmm. and we've given a reception in their honor, or we have recognized them in some way. We want to continue to do that, but what we also want to do at this point is continue that relationship 
so that after the reception, there is an ongoing relationship between the lawyers and the new admittees. Oh, I see. So is it a one-on-one -on -one relationship? Are they paired up with a particular mentor? That's the vision. Mm -hmm. We're working with the Tennessee Commission on Continuing Legal Education. They have a lawyer-to-lawyer -lawyer mentoring program that is already established and already approved by the Tennessee Supreme Court. Okay. We were recently... Um, um, we recently submitted a proposal and were recently approved as a sponsoring organization. So oh, that's something that we're really happy about uh, so that we can establish a mentoring program through that. So the Napier Luby Mentoring Cycle will be um, an effort in conjunction with the Lawyer to Lawyer Mentoring Program in an okay. effort to, to mentor you know young lawyers as they're coming coming in um, in areas of work, life balance. Right. Goal That's important. Or, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, goal orientation, um, just the ins and outs of, of lawyering, ethics, various topics that uh, we think it would be helpful for long, young lawyers to, to have someone to mentor, someone that they can pick up the phone and call right. when they can't call anybody else about a legal issue or right. a problem that they're, they're, they're having. So we're looking forward to, um, to rolling out that program. Great. Okay. Now tell us a little bit more if... Um about the November 12th event okay. that's coming up. Okay. The November 12th event is the, our new admittees reception. Um, and we plan to, um, in, we are inviting and um, hopefully we'll have a, a, a opportunity to welcome persons who have recently passed the bar in um, and we would have just gotten we just got the results in in October. So these oh, are okay. so so if there's anybody out there that's watching the program and you have been uh, recently admitted, please contact the Napier, the Napier Luby Bar Association. We would love to have you. We would love to to welcome you and recognize you for your achievement because that is um, a great achievement. Um, so we want to highlight that accomplishment. Okay. And we want to facilitate relationships between the the bar and the new admittees. And it's open to the public? Is there uh, tickets are available would, on the website or is it? You anything? would need to RSVP mm -hmm. um, by emailing napierluby at gmail.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And is there anything else that's coming up? Um, we we th this is probably uh, one of our last events for the year because it will actually be held in November. Right. Um, and then we will probably host another CLE toward the end of the year. One of the things that we try to do is and host CLE is continuing legal education. Correct. Okay. Co mm -hmm. Continuing legal education, and that is um, a part of what a lawyer is responsible for for doing and maintaining. Uh, so that one can keep abreast of the newest issues in the law. Mm -hmm. um, we've offered several of those to lawyers um, this year, and we hope to offer at least one more before okay. the close of the year. Uh, and then we'll be looking to 2016 to set, set new goals and new horizons. Um, some of the things that will probably be coming up in 2016, obviously we have the Barrister's Banquet coming up, and that's done primarily by the Napier Luby Bar Foundation, which is a separate arm, a scholarship and right. fundraising arm, of the uh, Napier Luby Bar Association, um, but we give out scholarships to deserving young students um, that are in law school, and that comes up in February. So we're looking forward to working with the foundation Great. Um, on getting that up and going as well. So those are some of the things that we have planned. Great, and students, law school students who may be interested in the scholarship can also go to the website. Yes, if they are interested in the in in the scholarship, they should go to the website. They should also go to uh, email us. Again, mm -hmm. at NapierLuby at gmail.com. Okay. And uh, we can get that information to anyone that is interested. I think the deadline for scholarships has actually passed at this point. It was in um, mid-October. I see. Um, okay. But that's something to keep in mind as the years uh, go by because you have at least three years in law school. So maybe yes. we can uh, <laughs> be, of, be of service and be of help at, at, on one of those years. Great. All right. Well, listen, thank you very much for joining us today, Susan. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it very much. It's great to learn a lot more about the Napier Luby Bar Association. Very good. Thank you for joining us also. And this is, we've been talking to Susan Tucker Jones, who's president of the Napier Luby Bar Association. And for more information, you can go to www.napierluby.com. All right. Thank you.